Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to solve this sum in orthographic projection. In first angle, we'll see from here, front view, top view, and side view we will draw. Now length is 68 plus 36 plus 17.5, so 121.5. Width height is 77 and width is 80. So first we will draw layout, and we'll start with top view because we can see circle in top view. So I will take midpoint, then I will draw axis line. I will take 35. Then I will take 10, 10 also because there are two circles. When I see from the top view, there are two circles, one is radius 10, that is diameter 20, and other is radius 17.5, that is diameter 35. So you can draw two circles. Then I will draw center line. That means midpoint I will join then I know how much it is 7 7 on both the sides if you see that rib the inclined portion it is 7 7 mm on both the sides so I can take like this Now I will take 68. This won't be there. In question also it won't be there. Because it is same surface. So this is how it will look from top. Now I will take 60 from here, I will draw a vertical line, see this portion, so the bottom plate is ready. Now if you see over here also there is a dotted line because this portion you can't see from the top see this and this part is also dotted now there are two circles so you take midpoint then from center you take 24 24 Then we'll take radius 8 because diameter is 16. So you take radius 8 and you can draw a circle. After that, we'll draw this part. See, in front view, this height is 20. So we are drawing lower block in front view, 20 by 60. Then 
this is 10 40 10 this height is 10 Now we'll draw a dotted line for this circle, extreme L, extreme left and right, so LRTB concept, so L and R, both the circles and we'll draw a dotted line for this in top view because this is through and through. See this, so we'll have two dotted lines. Now we'll extend this circle. This height is 30. So if you see this intersection is important because you won't get full circle it will be only till here and from that point to this bottom point we need to join see this slope and this slope is also there from center how much it is away the 36 so that I can take projection from top view also so I'll get that point from that point to this point I can join so that inclined portion is done After that from here we can draw a dotted line. This is extreme right point of the circle and we'll draw extreme left point. Always remember in front view you will have LR, in side view you will have TB, extreme top and bottom point. We'll have center line for this. So we are done with front view as well. Now we'll try side view. Side view you will see this part. Rectangle. So we'll draw that rectangle first. That 20 by 80. We'll draw that first. We'll draw vertical line. See then it is going through and through. So from here. This will be through and through. After that this slope. So it will be rectangle. This is 40. You take midpoint 40. Then again rectangle for the circle that is diameter 35 so from center I can mark 17.5 17.5 or I can take lines from top This is rectangle. Inclined portion will be appearing as a rectangle in side view. This will be dark. So we are done with side view also. Only dotted lines are remaining. This will be dotted because you can't see the behind portion. Then this circle, this part is also going through and through. See this. 
this part. So this is dotted. This is also dotted. Now we need to draw a dotted line for the circle. This radius 8, diameter 16. So that also we can mark. You can take 24, 24. See this, over here you can draw dotted line in side view, that is TB, extreme top and bottom point. You can take it from top view also or you can take from center line 88. After that, diameter 20, that also we can draw. So we are done with side view also. So we have done front view, top view, side view of the sum. In first angle method, we can do labeling and dimensioning. Thank you.